On this episode of Choice Cuts, we look at what many consider the most gore-filled horror film of all time. It's a balls-to-the-wall splatterfest. It's interesting to look at the trajectory of Peter Jackson's career. He began by making off-the-wall little films loaded with handcrafted practical effects. Nowadays, he sits behind a computer pointing little cartoons around. <sighs> Technology. Dead Alive puts PJ's particular style of practical effects on stunning display and some of the most outrageous and unsettling gore ever committed to the screen. The gore in this movie is so over the top that it pushes the movie beyond typical horror scares and somehow becomes sickly funny. You're watching it going, oh god no, and laughing your ass off at the same time. Actually, the first time I saw the movie was the R-rated cut, which basically cuts out any of the real gore and is a total waste of time. Thankfully, I tracked down a VHS rip of the Japanese Laserdisc release to see the uncut version. Yeah, that's right. See what we had to go through before Torrance? You lousy kids don't understand. There's a number of sequences throughout the movie that showcase the bizarre blend of horror and comedy. <laughs> However, there is one scene that stands above them all. You know what it has to be, folks. The lawnmower scene. If you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. Now, the entire finale is complete lunacy and full of great moments. But when reluctant hero Lionel triumphantly shows up, kicking the door open to a room full of zombies, and he's all, Party's over. You know it's about to get serious. And it's already gotten pretty damn serious. Holy shit! The chunks! The chunks! Throughout the movie, Lionel proves himself a weak mama's boy, beholden to her wishes even when she becomes a gross zombie. And that makes it all the more satisfying to see him finally become a badass. Besides, who doesn't love seeing garden equipment used like that? That is one robust lawnmower. This scene alone required over 500 liters of blood. I can't imagine lead actor Tim Baum trying to get clean afterwards. <laughs> Sticky. I mentioned the first time I saw the movie was the R-rated version, which cuts out a ton of stuff. But it is especially obvious in the lawnmower scene. Lionel kind of shows up and just pushes his lawnmower away. The room now a mess of blood and body parts. I was like, the fuck happened? Apparently the lawnmower was pumping blood at five gallons a second. That's, that's probably too much. I mean, Jesus, look at it go. That's the beauty of this scene, and thusly my man, Peter Jackson. He could have used a reasonable, or at least tried for a slightly realistic amount of blood for the scene, but where's the goddamn fun in that? It's that over the top nature that makes it special and one scene that I will always cherish in my disturbed little heart. Dead Alive is probably my favorite of Peter Jackson's movies. It catches him at just the right spot in his development before forever becoming the Hobbit guy. Good for you though, PJ, you big rich boy now with all your monies. Who knows, perhaps eventually Peter Jackson will return to his insane horror roots, but it seems so removed from what he has evolved into as a director. The specific touch has been numbed by the devil computer. However, I will hold on to hope that one day, PJ will wake up and something will happen. And he's like, crikey, what have I been doing? I'm tired of this computer bullshit. I'm gonna go bake some alien masks in my oven. I'll keep hoping. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.